you take the boats out tonight when Daddy comes home? If he picks up some gas, those boats are bone dry. Hey, be careful. You've been breathing really heavy lately. I know. I'll be fine. Got my hair in my pocket. Thank you. Good to be home. Oh, it's good to have you home. Two weeks is too long. One day is too long. Dad! Dad! Hey! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh! It's only been two weeks, but you've grown three inches. Uh-huh. Hey, Daddy is exhausted. Let's get him inside, because what do we do? We make, make him dinner. Dinner. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I've been driving for five hours straight. A home-cooked meal sounds amazing. <laughs> Lord, we thank you so much for our time together. We thank you for our love for each other, which we can only learn through you. And I thank you for watching over my family while I've been gone. Amen. Oh, wait. And God, I just want to thank you for bringing Daddy home. Amen. <laughs> OK. Dig in. You want this first? Yep. Dad, can we go boring this weekend? I don't see why not. The lake's supposed to be smooth as glass. Mom says there's never any gas in the boats. Oh, she does, does she? No, you do not say that. But Daddy has to help Mommy with some chores before we get out on the boat, OK? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can do both. Eat some salad too, please. Okay. I know you want this. I want the meat. Yes. So how's Brandon doing? He's doing okay. The doctors still don't know what's wrong with him. But the medication that he's on seems to be keeping everything under control, so. Oh, and remember we have the appointment with the genetic specialist tomorrow. We do? Yes, Jason, I told you about this appointment at least two weeks ago. <sighs> what? It's just that I have a meeting scheduled tomorrow. You just got home. Yeah, there's a lot of follow-up work after every business trip. You know that. Tomorrow is the only day that we can see the specialist for the next three weeks. I need you there. Brandon needs you there. Okay. I'll move my 9 a.m. to next week and uh, shift my 11 a.m. slightly. Thank you. Yeah. You know, he misses you so much when you're gone. You're his entire world. He's nervous about tomorrow. If you weren't there, it would destroy him. He only thinks I'm his entire world. But we both know that it's all you. Oh. All kids take their mothers for granted. But I don't take you for granted. 
You don't. No. Marriage is supposed to be 50-50, but you do 90% of the work. That is not true. You work hard all the time. Well, I may make, make the money, but you do all the real work. How did I get so lucky? You're not lucky. I don't believe in luck. We're blessed. So you'll be there tomorrow? Yes, definitely. We'll take separate cars and then I'll head off to my meeting afterwards. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when you're gone. I miss you so much. I'm sorry, babe. It's what I do. I'm in sales. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this house creeps me out at night. Oh, sweetie. There's nothing to worry about. You can pick a safer place to live in California than Big Bear. I know, but my mind just has a tendency to wander. Well, I'm here now. So there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. So is now a good time to talk about the bills that are piling up in the kitchen? Look, you're not the one with bill collectors calling you every day. You don't think they call me too? Look, like I said, this trip was great. All these deals are gonna close and we're gonna have more than enough to get by. You say that a lot. Aren't you happy? Haven't I provided a wonderful life for you and Brandon? Yes. But... <laughs> what? What is there to worry about? I'm worried that the bank is going to come here and take our home away. That we're going to end up on the street. <laughs> Sweetie. Babe, that's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen if we pay the bills. Sweetheart, the bills are going to get paid. Besides, it's not your problem to worry about. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Look, I'm sorry. Things are tight right now. But that is temporary. All these deals are going to finalize and we're going to be great again. You promise? I promise. Jason? Jason? about golfing he had an appointment today but he was gonna cancel so he could come with you to the doctor 
Maybe he couldn't. You want to go upstairs and go get dressed? Okay, Mom. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's make it quick, too, can we? Yeah. Thank you. You just reached Jason Goodman with RDT Pharmaceutical. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, sweetie. Um, I didn't even get a chance to give you a kiss goodbye this morning. I guess you couldn't cancel your appointment. Okay, um, we'll see you at the doctor. Dr. McCann, 10 a.m. at the hospital, okay? Bye. Here? Yeah, he's going to be here any second. <coughs> Jason, hi. Um, where are you? It's after 10 o'clock. We're at Dr. McCann's office, San Bernardino Hospital, Building 3. Okay? Dr. McCann is ready to see you. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, my husband's running a little bit late. Can you just let him know where we are? Of course I will. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You want me to hold your back? You got it? Yeah. Okay. Now, I understand you're having trouble trying to figure out what's causing the shortness of breath and the coughing. And dizzy spells. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you have been through a battery of tests, haven't you? Yes, sir. Hey, Brandon, would you mind going to the waiting area and letting me talk to your mother privately? It's okay. Wait for me out there, the chairs, all right? Okay. Sure. <laughs> right this way. He seems like a really good kid. He is. He's, he's so smart and he's, he's such a sweet boy. I can tell. Now, I took a lot of time to evaluate Brandon's files. And after reviewing the files, I called his doctor just to get a better understanding. But my hunch is that Brandon is suffering from a rare genetic disorder called severe combined immune deficiency. SCID, or SCID, attacks the immune system, and most sufferers can't even be outdoors, so clearly Brandon's case isn't that severe, but the disease can get a lot worse as he gets older. And is there a cure? Thankfully, there is but it does require a bone marrow transplant. First, we have to make sure that he definitely has SCID. And then we have to do a genetic match. Generally, one of the parents will be the match. Now, the disease is acting very slowly, so we have some time. But it is best that we find out who the match will be as soon as possible, okay? Okay. My nurse will schedule a match test for you and your husband immediately. Everything will be all right. Thanks.
Jason? Rufus. What are you doing up here, huh? What are you doing? RDT Pharmaceuticals, may I help you? Hi, my husband is in sales, so he doesn't have an office there, but I was wondering if he was at corporate today. His name is Jason Goodman. Jason Goodman? Yeah, he's based in San Bernardino. I'm sorry, but there's no one by the name Jason Goodman working here. Well, he doesn't work there exactly. Uh, he's a salesman in, in the Southern California Territory. I'm sorry, but David Marcus handles Southern California. <sighs> That's strange. Um, maybe your computer isn't updated? This is RDT Pharmaceuticals, right? Yes. Would you like me to transfer you to Human Resources? They might have more information for you. Uh, uh, no. No, that's okay. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Monica Mail Center. Hey, Mom. Hey, what? No hug? Brenda said Jason missed his appointment today. Is everything okay? Um, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I got in touch with him. He left for work. That's good news. Have a great weekend. I'll do the pickup on Monday. And you, call me. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Dad's still not home. Where is he? He's working. So you talked to him? Well, you didn't talk to him. No, I talked to him. And he just had to leave for a business trip. How come? How many business trips does he have to go on? A lot. I mean, he works really hard to take such good care of us. He'll be home in a couple days. Do you promise? See? You can't promise. You don't know. Why don't we go have an hour of free time, and then we'll get started on your homework? It's Friday. Can't I do my homework over the weekend? <sighs> yeah. You can. What about video games? You want to go play some video games? Sure. Okay. We'll call Dad later, okay? All right. We're still on this thing? Yep, I'm drawing. Oh, well, that is very good. But it is time for bed. He never returned my call, did he? I don't understand. Why is my dad like this? 
This is just a season, okay? Once Daddy feels like we're more financially okay, he's gonna settle down and he's gonna stop traveling so much. When? Hopefully really soon. I miss him too, you know. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Good night. Good night. It's me. Can you please call me and let me know where you are? I I'm really worried. Hey, there's nothing I'm worried about. Okay. to worry about me. Yes, I do. I'm your wife. Where have you been, anyway? I was at a dinner meeting in Escondido. This late? Yes. I have to meet with people. If I don't meet with people, we don't make money. If we don't make money, we have no houses, no food, no cars, no clothes, all that stuff. Sis, thank you for coming over. Of course. What are sisters for? No word, huh? No. Hi. Hi. I'm so mad at him. It's been 24 hours and nothing. I'm, I'm literally losing my mind. That man is always working. Maybe he just had it. Another business meeting and forgot to tell you. I hope so. But then what's his excuse for missing Brandon's appointment? Or not contacting me for 24 hours? Have you thought about calling the police? And saying what? 
My husband hasn't called me in 24 hours. He didn't come home. Like, what are they going to do? Nothing. Well, I'll call the local hospitals and see if he's checked in anywhere. Hospitals? Yes, yeah, Sarah, what if you had a medical emergency? My friend's husband had a heart attack while getting into his car at the supermarket. He was dead inside of his car for eight hours before anybody found him. Lauren! Sorry. It's a little morbid, but these things do happen. I am sure that he's fine. But you just have to consider all possibilities. Yeah. You're right. Could you watch Brandon while I go to the police station? Yeah, of course. It's a good idea that you're just telling him that he's missing. Okay, he's not missing. He's just not here. Sarah Goodman. I live on Peninsula Lane in Boulder Bay. Yeah. It's not really an emergency yet, but I haven't heard from my husband Jason in the last 24 hours. It's probably a detective. Sarah? Sarah Brown. Mr. Sharpson. Uh, actually, Detective Sharpson. <laughs> Hi, I see you got off the streets. Well, patrol, it's a young man's game. Solving crime, so it's a little more cerebral, a little less physical. How's your dad? I haven't seen him in years. You know, um, unfortunately, my dad passed away a couple of years ago. I am so sorry. He was a great guy. Yeah, he was. You know, I tried to reach out to him a little while back, and I, I, I never heard from him. Well, you know, my dad had a lot of pride. Once he was sick, he didn't really want to see anyone. Yeah, he was always doing a lot. You know, that must have been really tough for him. So what's this about Jason? <sighs> my husband came home two days ago from a two-week-long business trip, and I woke up the next morning, and he was gone. Gone? Yeah, it's been 24 hours, and no phone call, no text, nothing. Well, that's strange. Has he ever done this before? I mean, he leaves for work a lot. You know? I don't know, maybe he went on another trip and didn't tell me. Did you start calling his family? Brother? Sister? Parents? He doesn't really have any family. His parents died before we got married. He's got a sister, but she's a bit of a recluse. I've actually... I've never even met her. Oh, sorry about that. What about his friends? Called some of them. Um, I don't know. He works a lot. He doesn't really have a lot of friends up here in Big Bear. Work? I called his work, and they, they actually told me that he didn't work there. I'll put a tag in the system, and that'll let us know if anything shows up. And I'll make some phone calls. Here, let me give you my card. And you call me if he shows up, all right? Or if you need anything. I will. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's good to see you. You too. Sorry. It's under these circumstances. Me too.
Hey, Pamela, it's, it's Sarah. I know we haven't talked in a really long time, but... Oh, no, no, yes, you know me. I'm Jason's wife. I'm pretty certain I have the right number. Jason said that... Right. Yes, of course. I'm I'm sorry. I won't bother you again. Hi. Thank you for coming over. Yeah. Not a problem. This is my partner, Detective Miller. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow. Wow, this is really something. Thank you. Sarah and I go way back. Her father and I were once partners back in the old L.A. Police Department days. Yeah, he talked a lot about those days. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Some view. Thank you. So, uh, Mr. Goodman's been missing for almost 40 hours, is that correct? Yeah, I think so. I I'm not sure exactly what time he left the house. Any of his personal belongings gone? Clothing, toothbrush? I don't think so, no. What about the bank accounts? Have you checked them lately? No. I... Why would I do that? Well, how's your relationship with your husband? It's perfect. Why? Did you and Jason ever fight? No. I mean, we have disagreements, but we, we don't ever fight. So your relationship is always good, and you've never gone through any rough patches. I'm sorry, Daniel, what are you trying to insinuate here? Mrs. Goodman, 90% of disappearances are due to arguments about money, family, maybe an affair. <laughs> My husband is not having an affair. I didn't say that he was. We're just trying to get a sense of whether... Whether my husband and I secretly hate each other or not? I see that. Well, that's what you're implying, right? Are you thinking that I did something to my husband? We didn't say that. Please, don't get excited. I love my husband. Jason and Brandon are my... They're my entire world. And my husband is out there missing, and you're making these accusations as if something evil is going on. Ma'am, we're just trying to get a feeling of the dynamic between you and Mr. Bibnett. Look, unfortunately, people, they don't just disappear. There's always a reason. Now, it would be unwise if we didn't ask certain questions to get a sense. Why don't you call a psychic? Sarah, we're here to help you. Well, it feels like you're here to accuse me. I don't know why you're not out on the streets looking for him. We have other officers doing that right now. No, you don't. And don't patronize me. Sarah, we're not patronizing you. Why don't we start again? Fine. Then why don't you start by searching my house? 
Maybe you'll find something that I haven't. That's not necessary. Well, not, not right now, but... Then get out there and go look for him. I'm sorry, Sarah. Maybe we handled this improperly. Yeah. Me too. I promise we will make every effort to find Jason. You know, actions speak louder than words, Daniel. Yes. They do. Definitely odd for a husband not to contact his wife in 36 hours. A laundry list of things could have happened to him. He could have driven his car off the road somewhere. Business deal gone wrong. Heart attack. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, but I'm leaning on the side of the domestic issue. Well, you know her. You think she's capable of doing anything criminal? If I've learned anything through these years, everyone is capable. Right. I'm sorry, Sarah. Unfortunately, you're not a match. We need to find your husband. Isn't there another option? We should test every member of your family, but since you're not a match, the odds of anyone else in your family being a match are slim. Additionally, Finding a match from the general population are slim as well. Now, Brandon is already on the list, and if anyone is the right match, they'll notify me immediately. 
In the meantime, let's pray your husband shows up. When, when exactly does this become critical for Brandon? If we can stave the disease off with medicine for a year, maybe even two or three, but... But what? His health will deteriorate without the transplant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, so you're telling me there's been no activity on this cell phone since the 17th? Nothing. You're sure? I'm sorry, ma'am. It's very clear on my screen. That phone has not been used since the night of the 17th. Okay. Uh, thank you for checking. Have a good night. I'm sorry, but we need to search the property again. Tina, really? You've searched it twice. Isn't that enough? It's been a month with no sign of your husband. And our entire town and our entire police force and the FBI have been searching and have come up with nothing until now. We have some new leads that we could simply clear up if we could just come in and search. Can't you see how upsetting this is? We found a woman that we believe Jason was having an intimate affair with. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Uh, it's just some investigating to do. But the evidence corroborates the fact. Is this yours? I haven't seen that in years. Where did you find that? We found it on the woman. What does that mean, you found it on the woman? We found it on her dead body. Your fingerprints are on it. Daniel, of course my fingerprints are on it. It's mine. Jason gave it to me on our anniversary. I know that it's mine because there's a stone missing by the clasp. She could have found that anywhere. Do you know her? <sighs> no. Her name is Amanda Woodward. Well, I've never seen her before in my entire life. How did she die? It's not important. What is important is the department is gathering the evidence right now and her cause for motive. And at this very moment, honestly, our only probable suspects are Jason and you. Oh, my God, Daniel. Come on, I didn't kill anyone. It's insane for you to think that I did. That's why I'm asking you to please let us in again so we can make sure there's no connection between you and Amanda Woodward. Can't you see how insulting and painful it is to be accused of something so horrific? I can't even imagine what you're going through. You can't imagine. I am truly sorry. I have nothing to hide. My home is yours. All right. Okay. Please be respectful of our home. Thank you. 
So, I think I'm about to lose the house. I probably have six months and that's it. No, that's terrible. You can't leave this place. It's your forever home. Yeah, well, I can't afford it anymore. You know, I'm literally draining our savings. Plus, I'm getting letters and phone calls daily from bill collectors. I will help you. You know that. Lauren, I'm not gonna let you do that. Well, what about the life insurance policy? Well, they won't do a payout without a death certificate. He better be dead. Because if he is not, I will rip him limb from limb. With music, rye, food, and lots more. What are you doing? This is Caroline Beal, reporting for Action News 12. Back. What's going on? With music, rides, food, and lots more. It's Jason. What? Look. With music, rides, food, and lots more. This is Caroline Beal, reporting for Action That is Jason. 12. Where? Back. Right there. This is live from Santa Monica. Oh my God, he's alive. It can't be. Why would he be in Santa Monica? I don't know, but that's him. That could be anyone. No, Lauren, look, that is Jason. I mean, yeah, maybe. Guess it could be him. What is he doing in Santa Monica when I'm home with a sick child? I have no idea. What is going on? Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Why do you keep saying that over and over again? I, I, I feel like I've seen Santa Monica somewhere. Okay, now you're really starting to scare me. Everyone knows Santa Monica. Wait, come here. Come here, come with me. It's gonna say, like, Something Santa Monica. I saw it when I was going through bills. Well, what size is it? Is it big? Is it small? It's a small white receipt. There are thousands of small white receipts in here. I found it. Santa Monica Mail Center. It's a receipt for a P.O. box. Why would he have this? Lauren, I don't know. Why would his work not have a record of him? Why would he have no family? Who is Amanda Woodward? And what was he doing on the Santa Monica Pier? What are you gonna do? Well, I guess if you have a P.O. box, you gotta go check it, right? Yeah, sure, I guess. I gotta go to Santa Monica. And what? Just sit there and wait for him to show up? Exactly. Okay, I I'm gonna need you to watch Brandon. Sarah, I really think that you should just go to the police with this information. The police? The police don't care. The police haven't done one thing but accuse me this whole time. Can you watch him? Lauren, I've got to go. I need answers. Okay, but be careful. Any man who would put you in this situation is dangerous. Brandon needs him. 
So what choice do I have but to go there, find him, and drag him back here? I gotta go. Thank you. Hi, how can I help you? I need to leave this in someone's P.O. box, but I'm not sure exactly what uh, number it is. Oh, that's fine. What's the person or company's name? It's Jason Goodman. Let me check the computer. No, I don't see anyone by that name. David Marcus handles Southern California. You know, um... I actually got my, my clients confused, and I, it might actually be under David Marcus. Oh, Mr. Marcus. Yeah, I know him. He picks up his mother every day, but usually late at night. I'll put this in his box, and I'm sure he'll be by tonight. No worries. Great. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Okay? Go to bed. I love you. I'll be back soon. No! Put Aunt Lauren on the phone, please. Hey. Look, I need to stay here a little bit longer. I'm sorry he's being difficult for you. Just try to calm him down and just get him to bed. I will. Don't worry about it. You just... Do what you need to do. I owe you big time. Please, no, you don't. Just take care of yourself, right? Thank you, sis.
Sarah. I'm following him now. You found him? He's with another woman. What? He's alive? Lauren, are you listening to me? He's with another woman. Okay. Just please, whatever you do, just don't take any chances. Be careful. I gotta, I gotta go. I'm gonna call you back. Sarah! What's going on? Well, I just followed him to the driveway of the house with that woman. <sighs> so he's having an affair. Worse. I... I think he's living a secret life. A what? Like another life with another woman. How do you know? And he's got one of those stupid honor roll student stickers on the back of his car. He has children? I don't know. Okay. Whatever you do, just don't do anything stupid. He is not worth it. Lauren, I'm not here for Jason. I'm here for Brandon. Promise me that you will not confront him. He could be very dangerous. Don't be ridiculous. Sarah, he's been caught. You have no idea how he's going to react when he sees you. Well, I have to take that chance. Sir, please. Look, I I'll call you tomorrow, OK? Keep Brandon busy. No, just promise me that you will be safe, OK? I will. He lost his father. He's not losing me, too. this to us.
Hello? I strongly advise you not to take the law into your own hands. Hello, detective. Sarah, I know what you're up to. I know where you are. How? How do you know that? What are you, tracking my car? What are you doing in Santa Monica? And no, we're not tracking your car. Your sister calls. She's worried about you. Why would she do that? Because she cares about you. She did the right thing. Well, I'm visiting a friend. Is there anything wrong with that? No. No, there is. And is there any reason that I need to keep talking to you? <sighs> no. No, we're good. Great. And goodbye. Goodbye. How can I help you? Hi, um, I'm a broker with Superior Realty, and periodically I knock on the doors of the beautiful homes in the area and try to talk to the owners about selling. Uh, I think your house is gorgeous, and um, I'm sure you could make a lot of money on the sale. I'm Allison Shaw. Oh, hi, Allison. I'm Emily. Emily, Emily Marcus. Marcus. Right. Um, it's funny, I don't, I don't know any Marcuses in the area. We've lived here a long time. We pretty much know everyone in the neighborhood. Well, I'm fairly new, so it's nice to make a new friend. I'm so sorry, I'm being rude. Would you like to? Come in and see the house. I would love to. Thank you. Come on in. Sorry, the door always does that. It's okay. Um, so this is the entryway to the home, which I think is the most important part of the home, really. Is this your family? Yes. We have three children. Richard, 18, he's a freshman at UCLA. And Jenny is a senior in high school, and my youngest, Katie, is 13. You have a, a beautiful family. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, the kitchen is this way. My husband, David, actually wanted another, but he worked so much, I told him to find a job where he could work at home since he's gone so much. What does your husband do? He's in pharmaceuticals. Right, of course. What does that mean? Um, it, nothing, it just, well, pharmaceuticals, very lucrative business, and 
Clearly, your husband does really well. Yeah, it's a trade-off, though. Sometimes I wish we were broke and he would stay home full-time. I get that. Well, anyway, this is the kitchen, and um, we remodeled it about two and a half years ago. Stainless steel appliances, all brand new, all beautiful, every amenity you could think of. And then this here is the family room. And I think as you step up here, you can tell it's completely soundproof. The perfect room to sit down with your family and watch movies, and believe me, we've seen them all. A beautiful fireplace, just perfect nights in here, you know? Yeah. And then uh, this is the dining room. It's really the heart of the house. I mean, we've had so many incredible dinners here with the family. It'd be hard to part with, but... Uh, this is the living room. Probably something I'm proudest of. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I've seen a lot of houses this week. I think I'm just... I'm worn down. You want a glass of water? I would love a glass of water, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. here on the table. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> room temperature. What do you think about the living room? I put a lot of thought into it. David didn't care. He gave me a nice budget and he said spend it all. <laughs> Hey, honey. It's David. He must have forgotten something. Excuse me. Honey, are you all right? Yeah, I just forgot my tablet I needed for a meeting. Honey, there's a real estate broker here I'd like you to meet. Oh. Okay. She's with Superior Realty. Her name's Allison. Hey, Allison. Really nice to meet you. So she was uh, driving by. She really liked the look of the house, and she knocked on the door. She thinks she can sell it for quite a bit of money, actually. Not that we're selling, but I just I thought it would be, you know, an interesting conversation. Well, she does, huh? Yeah. I was just showing her the house. You were? Don't worry, I'm not going to show her the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, her bedroom is kind of a mess right now. <laughs> oh, honey, that reminds me. Um, I forgot that gray sweater that you love so much. Do you want me to get it for you? Yeah, would you? Yeah, sure. Allison, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. We'll continue the tour. Thanks, baby. Yeah. What is wrong with you? How could you do this to us? I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Brandon needs you. Do you have any idea how sick he is? You are the only one who can save him. I'm sorry, you you must have me confused with somebody else. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go see Dr. McCann. If you do, I'll pretend like we've never met. I will pretend like nothing ever happened, like we never existed. 
I will forget everything if you go help Brandon. And if you don't, I'm gonna call the police. Why would you do something like that, Allison? You have two different wives. You have two totally different families. You're not allowed to just disappear. If you don't go see Dr. McCann, I'm gonna put you in jail. Okay, Allison, you need to calm down right now. Okay? Honey, I couldn't find that sweater. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I dropped it off at the dry cleaner last week. Oh. <laughs> Honey, uh, Allison is leaving now. What? No, I, I haven't finished showing her the house. Yeah. Unfortunately, she has to go now. There's no reason to waste your time any longer. We're not selling the house. Who are you? David, what's going on? You need to go. Now. David! Ow! David! Jason! You need to talk to her! She left me alone. Ow! Jason! What is going on? She's a crook! Caught her trying to steal this. That's my grandma's. Exactly. You let her into our house. Oh my God. Completely fell for it. How could you do something like this? I'm calling the police. No, no, no. I think she's learned her lesson. You need to get out of here right now. Not only did you try to steal from me, but you made me look like a fool. Jason, just do this for Brandon. Please. He needs you. Who is Brandon? This woman is certifiable. You can't believe a word she says. You're lucky I came home when I did. Texas. He's interested in placing a huge work. Hey, I don't remember you having a sales call in San Jose. Well, he's based in San Jose. I don't know what to tell you. That's a four-hour drive. Which is why I'm packed for overnight. David. Emily, this is what I do for a living. You like that living room, right? Yes, but that has nothing... Well, this is how I pay for it. I mean, how many years have to go by before you realize what it takes to take care of a family. I know what it takes to take care of a family. I have raised three kids practically on my own. Oh, you raised them? Yes. On your own? Yes. So my work had nothing to do with raising those kids. That is not what I said. You're implying No, that. I did not. You need to rethink your attitude. Because I've had it up to here. Dave. I've never seen you like this before. What is going on? I'll see you in a couple days.
Where are you staying? When will you be back? I'll call you later. Sarah, you never should have gone there by yourself. Well, I did. He has another life. He has another family. His real name is David Marcus, so why don't you go to Santa Monica and put him in jail? We will. First, we'll have to get a warrant for his arrest from the judge. And it's not our jurisdiction, so it's no, going to take some... No, there isn't time I'm for that. I'm sorry, Sarah. He assaulted me. He threw me to the ground. He threw you out of his own house. What is the difference? My suggestion to you is file a restraining order against him if you feel like you're in any kind of danger. Of course I feel like I'm in danger. If he killed Amanda Woodward, he'll come for me. But we don't know that for sure. That's what we're trying to figure out. These things take time. We're building a case against him. Oh my god. I gotta go. Sarah, what you did was very dangerous. Please don't do anything reckless again. Really, Daniel? Because right now it feels like you could give a damn about me. Go ahead. Follow your rules. doing you feel okay a lot so good yeah thank you for taking care of him of course hold on a sec um mommy needs to take this call all right go inside i'll be in there in one second okay 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 come on let's get inside hello Listen, this is crazy. We we should meet. What is there to talk about? Now you're being irrational. I'm being irrational. Y you just left us. You have a whole other family. You have a whole other life. How could you do this to us? It just happened. I was... I was with Emily, and, and I met you. You just conveniently forgot to tell me that you, you had another family. I wouldn't say it was a matter of convenience. It just simply, it wasn't necessary to tell you. And you just thought I'd never find out. Well, initially I thought you might, but 
As the years went by, it just got... just got easier and easier, you know? Yeah, of course it did, because you were comfortable. And I was in love with you. And what changed? Well, it was simple. I just couldn't afford two families anymore. Jason, where is your heart? Where is the man that I fell in love with? Listen, Sarah, I never meant to hurt you or Brandon. You were just casualties of my... Your selfishness? You didn't just hurt us, Jason. <laughs> you scarred us. And now Brandon might die, and you need to do the right thing and go see Dr. McCann. No. No, that won't be necessary. Why? Because I have other plans. What does that mean? Listen, Sarah, I'm... I'm sorry, okay? We had a great time together, but it's just not rational to have two families. So one of them has to go. Jason, you're insane. Jason? Jason! seems to be affecting him. He looks like he's gotten worse. <coughs> Don't worry. The police are gonna track Jason down tonight and they will force him to give the bone marrow. I'm losing faith in the police. Plus, they can't force him to do anything. Well, if they don't, I will. Well, we can't run the risk of the police hurting him either. I need to just take care of this by myself. How are you gonna do that? I'm gonna be the bait. No, Sarah, you, you cannot do that. Well, what choice do I have? David. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I love you. I haven't been honest with you. What are you talking about? I have two wives, okay? I have two families. How can that be? It doesn't matter how. What matters is that after tonight, there will only be one family. What are you talking about? It means that after tonight, they will be gone. They will be erased. You can't just erase people. I can, and I will. David, stop it. I'm going to fix the problem. What is your emergency? Um, I, I think my husband's gonna do something bad.
Looking for something. You didn't answer my question. Are you looking for something? Hello, Jason. Or is it David? Is this what you're looking for? Sure it is. You know, honey, <laughs> you really have no loyalty. Don't talk to me about loyalty. You abandoned us, remember? You're nothing to me. You're a lying bastard. Which is exactly why. I have to get rid of some dead weight. <laughs> okay, you don't care about me. What about Brandon? Why should I care about Brandon? It was your mistake. I could have left you the day you told me you were pregnant with him, but I didn't. I stayed. I played the husband. I played the father. Even with a whole other family to take care of. No, you're lying. I've seen you with Brandon. You love him. No. No, I don't. That part of me is dead now. I love Emily, not you. You're insane. That's not nice. Oh, and by the way, don't go out front looking for those cops. They killed them. They're dead. Just kill me. No, 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 not yet. Why? Because I need you. I need you to get to Brandon. Then I'll kill you. So where is he? Is he at Lawrence? Is that where he is? This nonsense is going to stop right now. Whoa, officer. Are you here to save the day? Just drive your gun and we can end all this with no one getting hurt. Get out of my way, officer. Drop the gun now. I don't think you'll do it. I will shoot you. No, I don't think so. So you need me alive. Just barely alive. Ugh. Ugh. Today's your lucky day. I gotta go.
It's over. Put your hands up. And you're back. And you were right. This is my lucky day. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a lawyer to have him present while you're being questioned. Daddy, and he's fine, but he's very sick. How? Well, um, his body is okay, but his mind isn't. And he's gonna get some help, but we're not gonna be able to talk to him for a little while. Well, I'll help him. I know you will. You are such a strong boy. I am so proud of you. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> you want to know the best part? He's going to help you get all better. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Let's go inside.
beautiful out here today. Oh, it's beautiful. Where is he? He's coming. He was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. There he is! Hey! Okay, let's get your life jacket on. What do you say? Yep, good job. Are you ready for an awesome boat day? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited, too. Okay, I love you. Love you, too, Mommy. Hi! Look who made it! Sorry I'm late. Just had a little police work to take care of. You still got room? Of course we do. Better late than never. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? We're to good. Listen, uh, sorry for being so hard on you. Yeah, that's okay. I get it. Let's get on this boat. Hi, guys. Hi, Judy. <laughs> and I know when the darkness Got it? surrounds you. You can breathe Just know I see the beauty in the shadows Oh, whoa, whoa You've been I think you're gonna need this oh. <laughs> <laughs> So now you're rescuing me it appears so. Okay. I'm glad you could make it today. Thanks for inviting me. Well, thank you for putting your life on line for us. You bet. You're worth it. When you want stops, I'll be your angel in the sky. Hey, everybody on. I just wanted you to know